Good morning. Thank you so much for joining. This is Seth with Healthy and Whole Marriages. And I am praying this morning uh, on behalf of Healthy and Whole Marriages, simply Healthy and Whole Men. We're praying, asking God to do what he does. I pray that each of you all have had a wonderful week this week and God has done it again. He's brought us into another month. And so I'm very grateful. Let's go before the throne of grace today. Father God, we just thank you. We praise and bless your name for who you are. Thank you for your grace and your mercy and your peace. God, as we look to you this morning, God, we surrender all. God, we give up anything that is not of you, O oh God, and we ask that you will lead us and guide us in your willing way. And God, we just thank you for a mind of prayer, O oh God. We thank you for consistency. God, I know that consistency works. If we continue to do a thing, that you will reward it and that you will do what you do. God, I pray that men and women are more consistent in prayer. God, help us to understand the foundation of prayer and understand what prayer does for our lives on a daily basis. God, I thank you, oh God, for life. Thank you for health and strength, oh God, even the mind and willingness to pray this morning. God, I pray for those that will be in attendance, those that will view this, those that will be encouraged to pray even the more, God, not only here on this platform, God, I, boy, I pray that you will bless people everywhere, hallelujah, to begin to call on the name of Jesus. As we see the things that are going on in our world, oh God, I pray this morning that we will stop looking at uh, the pandemic and the wars and the sickness and the racial profile and then the, the, the deaths and the all of these things that are going on, help us to take our mind off of the things that we see and to focus on you, oh God. We know that you will deliver us, God, that there's no thing that is too big. There's no thing that is too small that you will leave us forsaken. God, I pray this morning that we will focus, hallelujah, on you. God, I know in order to focus, God, that we have to trust you. So, God, I'm praying a new trust in those believers today, those that have been a part of this, this gang of Christianity for a long time. God, help us not to grow weary. God, reignite a fire in your people today, oh God. Reignite something that will cause us to focus upon you, oh God. And I thank you because I believe you to do exceedingly, even in those lives, oh God, that of your people, oh God, that have served you for a long time. But God, help us to become uh, on fire, oh God, that we will encourage others to focus in on you on this day. God, I pray for those younger uh, saints, oh God, those that are just coming into this faith, oh God. Lord, they, they've they seen the cliche, they've tried the world, and they said, you know what, this stuff isn't working out. So God, I'm praying this morning that you will lead and guide them in your willing way. And God, I thank you, hallelujah, for your presence, even in their lives, oh God. Stir them even the more, God, that they will keep that vigor, that they will keep that fire in and within them, oh God, that they will focus upon you and that they will trust you, God. Lord, I know that some of us are just simply fearful. We see the things that are ahead. We see those things that we need to pay. We see those things that we're, we don't understand. And Lord, here we are. And uh, as we, as we go into these things, as we see these things in our daily lives, God, I pray that we're beginning to pray scripture in and through our lives, like Psalms 56 and 3, God. When I'm afraid, I will put my trust in you, oh God. Lord, if we put our trust in you, God, I know this, that you will show up because you are a God that will not fail us, God. Lord, I pray that we will commit everything that we know to do to you, oh God. And as we commit it to you, oh God, I pray that you will begin to put us on the right path, oh God, that we will trust your will, oh God, that we will trust your way, that you will establish, hallelujah, our plans, oh God. As you establish our plans, I pray that we will continue to stay humble and stay patient, oh God, as you show us the path of righteousness, God, as you show us the things that we need to do, and as you show us the things that we need to do, oh God, that we will exalt you, God, that we will begin to sing praises even in the midst of the frustration, even when we can't see our way, even when the odds are stacked against us. God, I pray today, God, that once we begin to trust you in this way, oh God, that we will begin to focus on, oh God, that we will submit every 
thing that we do unto you. As we submit it unto you, O oh God, Lord, I'm praying that you will bless your people, God, that you will bless the people of God to resist the enemy, O oh God. We know that the enemy is crafty. We know that the enemy stands at the door. We know that the enemy is prowling, looking for those he can devour, oh God, looking with that foothold, oh God, to just, if we keep that thing in our life, that's just a little bit of space that the enemy can use it, oh God, that he can go in, oh God, and run all type of, of muck in our lives, Lord. God, I pray that we will begin to focus, hallelujah, upon you in a new way. And God, as we renew our trust in you, oh God, as we renew our faith, oh God, as we humble ourselves, oh God, that we will trust you with all of our heart, that we will lean not to our own understanding, that we will acknowledge you in all of our ways, oh God, and Lord, that you won't lead us astray. God, I give you glory this morning because I know in confidence, oh God, as we begin to trust you and lean upon you, oh God, and allow you to do the things that you do, it'll be easier, oh God, for us to surrender all to you, oh God. So God, I'm praying this morning that we will not only trust you, oh God, but we will say yes to your will, hallelujah, that we will say yes to your way, oh God, that we will give up all, oh God, that we will raise our hands unto you, oh God, and say, Abba, Father, oh God, with art in heaven, God, God, give us what to do, oh God, in this hour. God, we are coming into a, a place where you're using people, oh God, that you're using your people, God, that there is a tug on our hearts. I feel it right now. That is a tug on our hearts that we know we should be doing more. We know that there's more within us, oh God. We know that the best is yet to come, oh God, but we're still fretful, oh God. Lord, so I'm praying, oh God, confidence in you, oh God. I'm praying a renewed hallelujah spirit in you, Lord Jesus. I'm praying, hallelujah, a surrendering heart unto you. And God, as we surrender this heart, oh God, Lord, come in, oh God, as we begin to open our hearts, oh God. Yes, Lord, as we begin to raise our hands, oh God, that we will say, come in, oh God, come in, Lord Jesus, fill us again, oh God. Show us, Lord, how and what to do, oh God. Show us whom we need to hook up with, oh God. Show us what word and what scripture, oh God, that we need to be studying, oh God, in order to fulfill, hallelujah, the purpose that's within us that you have appointed us to do, oh God. Help us to get out of our own way, oh God, so you can use who you may, oh God. Lord, we're praying this morning. We're crying out to you, oh God, saying, I surrender all. Hallelujah. I surrender all, Lord Jesus. As we're surrendering, oh God, fill us with your grace, oh God. Fill us, hallelujah, with your spirit and begin to impart in us the words that are needed, oh God, for this journey ahead. God, we're believing in you, oh God. We're trusting in you, oh God. We're thanking you now because we believe that it is already done, Lord Jesus. Have your way, oh God, not only in me, but have your way all in us, oh God. Lord, move tonight, oh God even while we're sleeping on this night, oh God. Lord, begin to stir us, oh God, that we will want to be in that place of worship, oh God. We will want to be in that place of service. Oh, we will want to be where the, they're gathering, oh God, to receive of you, oh God. Lord, help us not to forsake the assembly. Lord, we've made it easy, for congregants, oh God, to, to even worship online, even through platforms like this, oh God. But help us not to forsake the assembly. Help us to be around people, God. Help us to know that we were built for companionship and for relationship, oh God. Lord, help us to spread this world, 
that you've given us in our heart, not only with the people that already know, oh God, but God, there are some, oh God, that we will run into even on this day. God, as you stir, so God, help us to say what you've told us to say in this hour. God, help us not to be afraid, oh God, to step out, oh God, as you impart in us, as we have surrendered all to you, oh God. Even on this day, God, I pray, oh God, that you would stir us, stir the gift in us, oh God, to speak to people, oh God, to encourage people, oh God, whatever way that is. So people will go away changed, that they will go away with a new heart, oh God, go away uh, with hope, oh God. Lord, help us to be that hope. God, we are living the separated lives. We're living the and we're doing the things that you told us to do. But God, I pray this morning that we will renew ourselves in you, that we will develop that intimacy with you. I think most often of my wife when I talk about intimacy, oh God, that she wants that quality time, oh God, that she wants that time to uh, to just uh, lay in my arms, oh God. She wants that time to just talk, oh God, freely without being judged, oh God. She wants that time to cuddle, oh God. Lord, help us to do that with you, oh God, to read your word, oh God, to get so excited about the word of God that we begin to yearn for it, oh God, day in and day out. God, do it for your glory, oh God. Lord, as we uh, embark on new territory, oh God, as you begin to bless our visions, oh God, and bless our plans. God, I'm praying this morning, God, that you will empower us to be more for you. God, I know you're looking for a people, a people that will sacrifice themselves for you, just like you did for us, oh God. Lord, help us to surrender all today. Help us to surrender all today. Our thoughts, oh God, our plans, our relationships, our children, the things that you've blessed us with, God. Help us not to be so caught up in those things that you have given that we forget to praise the Savior. Hallelujah. God, even I pray that you will give us what we need. God, that we won't be desperate to just pray for things that we want, oh God. That, Lord, that we just won't be desperate to just pray for you to do something on our behalf. But God, if you're supplying our needs, oh God, I pray that we will serve you in a new way. God, do it for your glory. God, I'm tired of seeing your people struggle. God, I pray whatever they need, that the needs are met today, oh God. Lord, even those that need you to meet needs on their behalf because of new things that they're doing. God, I pray that you'll meet the needs so they can fully give to you, oh God, that they can fully immerse themselves in the calling that you've given. God, we thank you. God, we praise you today. And we believe you to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we could ask or think. It's in Jesus' name. God, I pray for our children as they return to school. God, I appreciate you for children that are willing to just learn and enjoy uh, the atmosphere of school. God, I pray a hedge of protection around them. God, even though all of us that are listening today may not have children, but we know a child. And God, I pray this morning that we will cover our children, not only on this day, but we will cover them all year, oh God. They may have taking the corporate prayer out of the schools, God, but we as men and women of faith, we're going to put it back in by daily covering our children, daily praying for our children to keep them safe, oh God, to make sure that our teachers are, are teaching what they should be teaching. Administrators are doing the things that they need to do to run schools effectively, run universities effectively, that children are opening their minds, oh God, to receive what they are teaching, that the disrupt, disruption of students will cease, oh God, that they won't act out, oh Lord, that those disruptors, oh God, will be silenced this year, that the word can go forward, that people can learn in the way that they need to learn. 
God, I pray over the safety, O oh God, of children, O oh God, uh, from senseless acts, O oh God, of violence and uh, frustration, O oh God, and things that people that are suffering from mental illness. God, I pray, O oh God, your grace upon them this year. God, again, I'm, I won't come down. It won't just be today, O oh God, but I will pray for our children every day. Every day that they touch the campus, oh God, stir me to pray for children. Pray for their safety. Pray for the administrators, God. Pray not only for my child, but God, I'm praying for all children that you will move, oh God. I know the enemy. He wants to get into their minds early. If he can get into the mind of a child early, he knows that he can develop them to do the foolishness that he will have them to do. God, I'm covering the minds of our children, God. I pray that even the games that they're playing, oh God, won't affect their minds, oh God. These games of violence that they will even put them down, that they won't be attractive, oh God. Lord, we know that the enemy can find any way to get in a child's mind. God, I pray, uh, I rebuke uh, even pornography, oh God, and those things that will get our children off course, oh God. Lord, I, I pray against uh, just abuse in general, oh God, whatever that form is. God, that these children will have what they need, oh God, without the distraction of someone touching them or someone uh, beating them, oh God, simply because they are wanting to go to school. My heart is heavy for that one that wants to do more, but they can't because of the restrictions that have been put upon them, oh God, or even the responsibility because their their parents may be at work and they now have to watch over the children. God, I pray for that heart, oh God, that they won't become depressed, that they won't become suicidal simply because the burden has become heavy, God. But I pray that you will bless them, oh God, that you will strengthen them even now, oh God. Do it for your glory and we'll give you glory and we'll give you praise. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Thank God, amen. Well, I've given you what God has given me uh, to pray uh, that we begin to trust him in a new way, that we begin to surrender all. And for our children, as they return to the campuses all over the country, I'm praying for you also individually that God will do a new thing in and through your life. I know that God is moving. I know that God is going to do something special for you, but you are going to have to trust him in a new way. In this new, as we will call uh, in the church, this new season, that we will focus upon him in a new and effective way. God is going to do something great, but we're going to have to trust him. Well, until next week, be healthy, be whole, be blessed is my prayer for each of you. I love each and every one of you all. Thank you so much for the support. Continue to pray. Believe God is going to answer your prayer. Have a great week.